Siena's given so much to me. Siena's my home. The school was a great fit. The team was a great fit. And I always had in the back of my mind that when my decision came up, if I was, you know, uh, considering schools at this level, that Siena would be at the top of my list. I just want people to remember me as um, a good player, but most importantly, a good person. Um, I think in my four years here, I represented the program really well. I didn't really do anything to embarrass the program or myself. So I just want to be remembered as somebody who did everything the right way and was a good player, but was a good person as well. I would want to be remembered for for how hard I played, um, for the type of person I was, for the character I showed. Um, that's that's what I tried to do with my time here. Uh, that That's always being brought up. That was most important to me, you know. Um, so that's what I hope people remember about me. I want to be remembered as a hard-working um, player on the court and leader and just a person that will do anything for my teammates and coaches. Uh, I want to be remembered as a guy that loved the team, loved uh, the program and his teammates, and just worked hard every day and gave it his all. It's no, it's no shock to anyone that I, I take pride in my versatility and all the things that I do on the court. But at the same time, I would like to be remembered as the person who had fun while he was doing all those things. Not out for me, I'm out for the team. I, I want to be remembered as the team player who played for his teammates and his community. Uh, coach Passos, as, as a coach, he, he showed me a lot of things especially off the court. I feel like he was always like a mentor and a teacher, always trying to show you new things, really get you involved with the culture that uh, wherever we went. So he definitely helped me mature as a man growing up these four years. Uh, I mean, the most important thing I'll always thank Jimmy for is the fact that he did light a fire under me my, my sophomore year. I don't know that I, I knew I had that fire and I needed that to become the player that I am. So I'll always thank him for that. He wants you to learn more about not just basketball, but things off the court. And that's what we did. Coach Patsos has always encouraged me. He always gives me chances in practice to play. You know, I'm sure a lot of walk-ons don't have the same opportunities in other programs. Uh, I'm pretty much competing every day in practice with these guys. So he's given me a lot of opportunities I'm thankful for. He really made me think about life a little different. Um, I think when I first got here, I was basketball in school and I didn't really care too much about like current events, what's going on like in the world outside of basketball. And when coach got here, you know, the first thing I noticed, he always had a newspaper in his hand and he would always ask about events like, did you hear about what happened such and such or like uh, bad things that happened in the world. And, and honestly, it never really clicked in my head that how important it was. So once I got around coach Passos, I realized that stuff like that was very important and, and learning more about history and stuff like that. The fans are unlike unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Um, it's why I, pretty much why I chose to come here to Siena when they took me to the Times Union Center and showed me around and said there's going to be five to seven thousand people here every single night when you play. And I mean that's 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 hard to say no to. That's a lot of fun. Um, you know mo they're they're there through thick and thin. Um, uh, it, it's what makes Sienna great. Everyone's so involved. Everyone really cares about the basketball program, and uh, that, that's hard to find at, at the mid-major basketball level. Yeah, hearing my name chants pretty pretty funny. It's unexpected, but I appreciate it. The fan support was it was very well um, throughout my four years. I mean, you could see it. They definitely do come to different events. Um, of course, the games, and even if I see them out. Um, in public, they, they'll still speak, say um, that they love watching me play and watching us play as a team. Monmouth, when I think of Monmouth, I think of Nico Clareth from now on. Um, that second half was unlike anything I've ever seen or been a part of. Such a fun game. It was an exciting game. Like, as you said, like the crowd's all against you, but at the same time, it's the liveest crowd you probably play in front of any given game. It kind of it kind of got to us, and Nico, he kind of just, he went off, and he said we're not losing this game, and I told them I'm not losing this game either. There was a moment in the locker room where he was like, we're not losing this game. Um, 
we're not going out like this. And I think he just took over and the guys trusted him. Coming out second half, I think they hit a three and went up 17. They came out hard. And then we was like, whoa, we're not going out like that. We're not about to lose. And then the fight back was just, everyone was on the page. Everything was clicking. Like, so Honestly, I still watch that game probably like once a week, trying to figure out like how we won. Um, Nico played a big role in that. Just He came off the bench, and, and he had 27 points in the second half. But the energy, uh, the fans the fans kept us in. And once we started making our runs, um, the fans, the team, everybody, we just got into it. Um, it was just great to have all those people there who were there supporting us and rooting for us. And, and after a while, we started chipping away at the lead. And next thing you know, we were up four, and the, the clock ran out, and that was the game. Hey guys, my message to the team is just remember that winning feeling and hold on to it. You know, it's worth it. All the hard work you put in is to get wins. So listen to the coaches, um, put in the work, come together as a team, really trust each other, and there's no better feeling than winning. My advice to all my Sienna, my old Sienna brothers that will be here for four years and further, probably the first one for sure, naps are crucial. You need your naps to get you through the day. Um, I mean, you guys are going to have ups and downs. There's going to be it's gonna be good times and bad, but always have fun. Remember, it's just a game. Uh, you're going to get yelled at. Jimmy's going to yell at you as, as long as he is here and as long as you are here. But, uh, you know, that's part of it. Take it in stride and just, just never give up. Um, my message to them would be um, just continue to work hard, um, believe in the coaches, um, believe in Ian. He has you guys going in the right direction in the weight room. But most importantly, don't pay attention to what anybody says you guys in the preseason. Um, I know you guys are going to do better than what um, everybody expects. And most importantly, just, just stay together, love each other, and, and everything else will work out. It only comes once. And not to say that, yeah, you should give it your all and – uh, you should work hard 24-7 because those are things you should do. But more so, enjoy it. Like, really enjoy it. Appreciate what you have. And make sure when you're out on the court that you're doing what you're doing is right. But at the same time, you're playing for yourself as well as your team. My message to the future team um, is to always, always listen to Passos. Um, he's a good dude. And he will help in many ways. Um, you can't go against him or things won't go right. Um, me leaving Siena will be tough. I will miss everything about it. And I just want y'all to know that whatever you do, never give up. Um, even if the fans aren't behind, behind you, if you're losing at a moment. But it, just know they'll be there at the end of the day. Um, Definitely thank them for being at all your games. Siena has been a great place for basketball. It's just, it's, it's become a home for me. Um, very thankful for everything that Siena has done for me. Uh, I mean, such, I can't say enough about it. Such a great place.